Hey, Big for Tony here. Uh, so let's have a look at these images. Um, I'll get straight to the point. I believe this is a gorilla. But whether it's been photoshopped or not, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I suspect it's been photoshopped. So this, this gorilla is actually um, taken from a separate image, cut out, cut around here, and placed behind um, these branches. So that would mean these branches would have, would have to be cut out uh, separately. Some of you might say that it, that's impossible or, you know, that's extremely difficult to do. Yes, it is difficult to do. Uh, it does take a lot of time, but it, it is possible. Um, I'll show you an example here. Bearing in mind that I'm using a very low resolution uh, image from a screenshot. So it would be much easier with, you know, uh, a much larger image um, and, and a much better result with a larger image um, but this is just uh, an example here I, like I said I'm working very quickly so this is just a, um, a possibility of what it, it could be so I'm choosing a, a, a blue background which was which I've selected from uh, from the sky basically See, it does take a very long time, I and mean, I don't know if there's a quicker way of doing this. There probably is, um, but I think I think to get the um, to get a better result, this is probably the best way. You could use the uh, what I think it's called a magic wand tool, which kind of automatically selects the area. But to get a more um, accurate um, selection, I think it would be better to use this kind of process, like manually selecting and drawing around. And when you, when you zoom out, then you get the idea that it is possible to, um, to cut around. And then basically you can put any, um, any, anything in the background. As you can see. Let's move that back down there. That was just an example. So it is possible to cut around. And another thing, this image, the the um, the, the gorilla actually looks slightly blurrier than the um, than the surroundings. So this to me appears to be uh, slightly sharper. The trees and the uh, uh, branches are slightly sharper than the the gorilla, which shouldn't shouldn't be the case if it was all one image, because as you can see here, it's all the depth of field should be that uh, when the photo was taken, it should all be more or less the same uh, focus, the same sharpness. But it is slightly blurrier for some reason. I don't know if that is because the gorilla is further away, um, or what, or or like I say, it could be. Um, a different image which would have been uh, blurrier at the, uh, at the time and if you look here also um, difficult to uh, use the pointer but anyway um, I would expect to see some hairs coming off I don't see any hairs which to me means that it's been cut around and they've haven't you know correctly um, cut around any hairs which should really protrude and 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 come you know, come away from the edge, but whereas here there's just like a fine cut around, unless you know he's been, he's had a, um, his haircut, uh, a shave, <laughs> and also to me this kind of looks like it's been, it's been um, cut too short here. I think a gorilla, the nose kind of comes out, and I think the gorilla, a gorilla's um, a mouth would come further out I think but more or less the the uh, the features uh, match up to to a gorilla a silverback gorilla in in my opinion so like I say it's possible that it's been photoshopped or if it, if it is a uh, an actual one one actual image then it would be um, either a, a gorilla in its national environment or in uh, an enclosed uh, zoo um, I don't believe it's a Bigfoot.
All right, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.